Hello everybody, I am in the Whimsical Lab Chapel NYC. I just made this uh, arch. You can't really see it very much, but I like it. I like my new arch. Um, this has become my most favorite thing to do is to give you advice. If you're planning your wedding, um, you are very wise to listen to me. So um, today uh, we are talking about wedding vendors and prices. And I noticed this a long time ago. I noticed that, uh, you know, I started as a wedding officiant. And um, when I was a wedding officiant, I noticed some of my competitors, some of my colleagues would charge a different amount uh, depending on how many people were coming to the wedding, how many guests. And I never understood that. I was always like, oh, what, why, who cares? What does it matter? My job is the same. I never did that. Um, I always charge the same amount for my work. So um, I would charge depending on what kind of ceremony uh, the couple wanted. It, so it would be a little more expensive if it required a meetings prior to the wedding. It would be a little more expensive if I had to customize the ceremony. It'll be more if they needed a rehearsal, etc., etc., etc. But if they didn't need any of that and they just wanted me to show up at a certain date and time and place and do my standard 10 minute ceremony, then it was a flat fee. And the way I looked at it, was is none of my business whether they have two people coming to the wedding or they have a hundred. That's up to them. I just charge for my work. But I noticed that a lot of people were charging depending on the number of guests. And uh, of course you wonder why, <laughs> but now I understand why. Uh, I still don't do that. I still, we don't, uh, we don't charge that way. And with wedding packages NYC, our prices are as is in our website. And we don't charge an extra amount if you have more people. But I know now the reason why some companies do charge you according to the number of guests is because the larger the wedding party, the bigger the wedding, the more guests that you have, the more complicated it gets. So um, if your wedding has more guests, there are more things that can run late or encounter difficulties, setbacks, problems, um, change of ideas, change of thoughts. Um, you have a lot more people weighing in and giving you their opinions, their perspectives. And then the couple tends to, you know, change their mind a lot. And that makes it a little harder for the wedding vendor, whoever they may be. And basically in a nutshell, this is why weddings are so expensive. If you're gonna go buy a cake, you buy any cake and it'll cost you, I don't know, $40 a cake, 50, I don't know. And then when you say it's a wedding cake, even if it is just one layer cake, the price is gonna go up. It's not because the cake is any different. The cake is the same and, and, and the value of the ingredients are the same. The issue is that when it is your wedding, you as a customer are more likely to be problematic, to change your mind a few times and many times you have an idea and you have a vision and sometimes it is challenging for the artist or the baker to interpret your vision. And it's stressful. Imagine if you put yourself in the shoes of the baker, um, it's a big responsibility. It is your wedding. And if you don't like what they give you, if, they, if you don't like that cake, you may leave them a bad review. So all that comes into account and because it will generate a certain level of stress and anxiety in the provider, in this case, the baker, this is why they charge you extra money for your wedding cake. So if you're super easy and very straightforward and you know what you want and it is truly very straightforward, very standard, um, you are, more likely to get really, really good prices for most of your wedding services. And this is an advice that I have given 
before I made other videos, always talking about vendors and how to hire vendors and, and wedding advice in the sense of, yeah, there is, I mean, it's, it's, it's a known fact that there is the, <laughs> you know, the wedding tax. We call it something else, but I don't want to say it now, but um, that's what it's about. It's you as a customer being a little more um, unpredictable than a typical customer that will buy just a cake and you want a tiramisu and as long as it tastes great, it's fine. Uh, here, it's not about the taste, not so much anyway. It's truly about the way the cake looks and, um, and your thoughts and your vision and your idea and what it represents. It's a lot of stuff. So when we talk about weddings, I know, we know, that there's a, a psychological and emotional component to the wedding and therefore to the wedding vendors and the organizers and the coordinators, whoever they may be, whether, you know, it's from, from the wedding officiant to the photographer to the venue and the caterer, everybody is involved. And this is why prices are a little higher. So, little advice for you, make sure to sit down with your spouse-to-be and have all those conversations before you decide to hire anybody. The easier you are to work with, the juicier the services that you will get. People will love working with you, they will appreciate you, and they probably even give you free stuff because we as wedding vendors absolutely love those couples who are conscientious, appreciative, and straightforward. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. I give the best advice, uh, whether you're in New York City or anywhere, if you're getting married, listen to me. I went through it. I got my own wedding. A lot of my advice is based on my own wedding and weddings of thousands of couples that we have married and a lot of mistakes that I see them making. And I'm here to help you avoid those common mistakes. Thank you for watching. Oh my love. Mwah.